Since his shocking loss to Buster Douglas last February in Tokyo, Mike Tyson has fought once. A first round destruction of Henry Tillman in June. In September, while training, Tyson suffered a gash over the eye, reputed to need anywhere from 30 to 50 stitches. Team Tyson now consists of Rich Giacchetti, the trainer of former heavyweight champ Larry Holmes, brought in by Don King after the Douglas loss to work with holdovers Jay Bright and Aaron Snow. With his cut fully healed, Tyson is back in serious training. And as he prepares for his bout with Stewart, Michael Marley had a chance to sit down and talk to the former champ one-on-one. -on -one. Mike, in a couple of nights, two men are going to be fighting for what you used to own, the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Does it seem weird to you that you'll be watching two other guys fight for the three title belts? Basically, I have no faith. I don't give a f about who wins. You know, I mean, just basically, I mean, I mean, it's, there's no fight without me. There's no real championship fight without me. If Douglas beats Holyfield, it looks as though you've got a rematch with Buster. Some people think you'll stiff Alex Stewart and not fight him in December. No, he, he shouldn't believe that at all. Because you know why? Because after, because after I, I've kicked Stewart ass and give him a slow beating, nearly death, I'm going to take whoever the win after that, the Holyfield Douglas fight, and then regain my title. And hopefully, I can fight Ray the Ruddick or this other guy, George Foreman, before he die of you know what I mean, rigor mortis. The, um, the only thing that's unbelievable is that the public believes this. You know what I mean? And they believe this. And I, you know what I mean? These guys are idiots. You know what I mean? They, they never fought a, a day in their life. And then, but these are the same guys that talk about me on television. Like, I'm some dibbling moron. I don't see what I don't see them on television. People don't tell me. They say, hey, Mike, how you doing? You look in great shape. You look good, man. Boy, you would, man, please, man, have the, get in my face. Say, Mike, I think you're an individual. They can't say I'm a bum. I'm not a good fighter. Because, you know what I mean? Three and a half years and 11 defenses proved it. I mean, what the hell happened? Big deal. I lost a fight. You know what I mean? What, I made $12 million for losing a fight or some crap like that? You know what I mean? I'm even bigger now and I got more money now from losing the fight than I did when I was champion. They pay me more now. When will we know that the real Mike Tyson is back in the ring? Well, when you see me take care of this guy, what's his name again, on December 8th, Mr. Stewart? Then you find out. Oh, he's been talking a lot. He's been talking a lot. He's been talking a lot. He's going to be a slow, slow night for him. Stewart has stated categorically that he knows he needs to keep throwing punches to try to keep Tyson occupied. If he stops throwing, he'll be dead. Tyson lands a right and another. This could be quick. I was afraid of a 30-second sound bite. All right, man. Okay, let's go. That was a flush right hand. He's up just at the count of nine, Jim. How you feel, man? It must land something or else it's just a question of a few seconds. That'll do it. Two, three, four, five, six, They're seven, forgetting that the three eight. knockdown rule is in effect. It, this fight is over. Well, Stewart said that Tyson was a mountain he had to climb. He just got knocked off that mountain.